Hi, everyone. Welcome to VS Code Day. We're going to talk about playing your tests right with VS Code. So um, my name is Debbie O'Brien. I'm working on Playwright uh, with Playwright testing. What is Playwright? So Playwright is reliable end-to-end -end testing for modern web apps. It works on any browser, any platform, one API. Tests are run in full isolation. Tests are super fast, really fast execution. We've got some very powerful tooling, which I'm going to talk about today, and also tests run in multi-language. I'm going to concentrate on TypeScript and JavaScript today, but you could also run in C Sharp, in Java, and in Python. So let's get going. So in order to install Playwright, what we're going to do is right in VS Code itself, we're going to use the extension. So you go to the extension tabs and look for Playwright test for VS Code. Make sure it's the one verified by Microsoft, and then install that. Now, if you're new to testing, never tested before, you're going to absolutely love this because you're going to be able to write tests, run tests, generate tests, uh, look for locators, and do all sorts right in VS Code itself. So let's take a look. So to install Playwright, use the command panel and just type in install Playwright. Once we have the VS Code extension installed, and what it's going to do is Playwright is going to ask us and say, which browsers would you like installed? Would you like Chromium, Firefox, and WebKit? And these are by default checked, but you, maybe you only want one of the browsers. You can choose which one you want. You can also choose JavaScript if you don't want TypeScript, but TypeScript is the default. And then you can also choose to add a GitHub Actions workflow, which means by just that checkbox, you're going to be able to run your tests on CI, on GitHub, on every comment and pull request. No extra work needed. It's all created for you. So. Once you've selected what you like, click the OK button, and Playwright will start installing everything it needs to get going. So what has been installed? Well, right here, you can see um, we have our GitHub Workflows action. The Playwright YAML file is created. That's You don't even have to do anything. That's already created for you. So that just works right out of the box. We have our Node Modules folder, obviously, and then we have a Tests folder. Now, this is where we're going to be basically um, putting all our tests. So all our tests will run from that test folder. And then we have a test examples folder that is going to give us a demo to do app, which you can kind of run. And we'll, we'll look at that as well in a second. We've got a git ignore, a package lock, a package JSON, and then our playwright config, which basically um, gives us all the configuration we needed. If we wanted to add one of those browsers that we didn't install, we could configure that uh, in there as well. Now, you can see in the terminal here, Playwright is giving us all these messages, everything we can do, NPX Playwright test, and how we can run everything. We're not even going to use the terminal today. We're going to run everything visually using VS Code. So we have a testing sidebar in VS Code, that little test tube icon there. Once we click that, this opens up our testing sidebar. Now, I've got the example spec test open here. And you can see the test is basically importing the test and expect from Playwright test. My first test there on line three, the test is making sure it has a title. It's importing the page fixture, and it's a wait page. Go to the playwright.dev website, and I'm going to expect the title to contain the substring of Playwright. Now, my second test is just a get started link. It's going to go to Playwright Dev. It's going to find that get by role link, accessible role of link. With the name get started, I'm going to click on that, and I will then expect the page to have the URL of intro. Now, over on the sidebar, you can see I've got the test explorer where I can explore and search for my tests. I can then uh, show the browser. I can pick a locator. I can record new tests, and I can record a cursor and reveal test output. And we will have a look at those in a minute. But first, let's take a look at how we can just run that example test that we've just installed. And we can do that by just pressing that little green triangle. Watch this. So Playwright and VS Code running our tests. Here we go. We've got our example test. I'm going to press the green triangle. And you can see it says click to run test. I run that test. And you can see in the sidebar, it's just run that test, right? Really fast. Example has title. That test has been run. I can then click on the other green triangle and run that other test. Or I can click it right here in the sidebar itself. Now, my tests have run. Wow, it's super fast. I can see how fast it was. You can see it ran through them really quickly. but I didn't see anything in the browser, right? So click on Show Browser and rerun that test. And it's going to open up that browser window for me. And you can see, I can visually now see that my test actually run. So here we go. Bang, opened up that installation page. 
Now let's take a look at a more detailed test, our demo to do test. We're going to move it into the test folder. We'll open that test and let's play this test. This is like a to do app. And we'll open this up here and you can see it's, oh my gosh, it's just run through that so super fast. And it filled in all those to do's for me. Now, this is something you, you possibly could not type that fast, but see how fast Playwright is able to run that test. And if you're a manual tester, you will see the benefit of like this is going to be so much easier for you. So yes, running that test, I can visually see it there because I have that show browser checked. So make sure you uh, show browser when you want to actually see the browser and run through those tests. So what about debugging? When you have some errors, um, you need to do some debugging and you can live debug right in uh, VS Code. So over here, we have our app again. And let's just go through this little to-do and kind of break something, right? So we have our to-dos and we're going to fill it with some to-dos. We have an array of to-dos. And what we'll do is we're going to expect the page um, to get the to-do items. We'll get the second um, from the array instead of the first. So now when I run this test, it's going to fail. Hopefully it will fail. Let's have a look and you can see it's going to open the browser. It's going to start going through the test and then it's stalling. And you can see in VS Code, it's going around and then bang, got an error message. And look at this, right in VS Code, we have this error message. It's expected and you can see the difference. Book a doctor's appointment and feed the cat. So, you know, it's expecting feed the cat um, and the book a doctor's appointment. So we can easily see like this is the wrong item in the array. Um, but what if we didn't understand the error message? What if we wanted to debug further? We can click that um, line number, add a little red dot. That's a breakpoint. And then we can debug the test by right clicking, click on debug test. And now we're going to be able to go through our test, press the play button, and go through each action really slowly and see in the browser what's going on. Playwright is highlighting the locators there to see at this point in time, it's getting by the test ID of to do title. And then we can kind of go into that function. We can step through it and we can just keep going until we get that error message again and find out exactly what is breaking our test, come along and fix that. Let's change that. We can remove the breakpoints simply by just clicking on the red dot and then run our test again. And this time our test is going to pass because we've, we've fixed that test. So this is really, really cool, really easy to do. And as you can see, you can also, as you're hovering over in VS Code, you can see in the browser, the locator is actually being highlighted, the element that you want to locate on the page. So again, here, the, the test ID of to do title is being shown. And there's one, there's two of those. And um, if we go along here to the placeholder, for example, you can see that that's being highlighted. And as you go through your test and kind of click on things, you'll see in the browser every one of those locators. And we could change this and modify this. So if we clicked on to-do count here and changed it, you'll see it, Playwright can't find anything. So if there was a mistake, uh, you could you know, fix that there. You can visually see what's going on. Let's kind of modify the placeholder here and remove something, change it. And if I add something, now it can't find it. So we can see that locator doesn't exist on the page. Um, here we've got two Bs in there, so it's not found. Let's remove that and let's put it back to what needs to be done. This is being found. If we add an exclamation mark, it can't find it, but a question mark, it can find it. So you can really see how you can live debug and live modify those locators right in VS Code. So what about recording a test, right? We need to start writing some tests and writing tests is painful. It takes time and we don't want to like do things that take time. And we can use Playwright's code generator to basically generate tests. And we can do this right in VS Code itself. So we come along here to the testing sidebar. And what we're going to do is click the record new button. So once we click record new button, it's automatically opened up a browser window and I can put in the URL I want to go to. But over in VS Code, it's created a file for me, a test one spec file. It's imported Playwright for me, and it started writing my test. Now in the browser, I can go along and start filling in those to-dos. And every action that I do, writing, the filling, the entering, it's recording it right there in VS Code. I can click that to-do as checked off. I've done that. I can click and filter those by active, by completed. And I can see right in VS Code, everything that I've done in the browser has just been recorded for me. My test has just been created just like that with no work done. Now, I do need to go and change some of those to be expects and want to expect this to be visible. It's only recording the user actions, but super fast. Now, if there was something else I wanted to add in there on line nine, 
I can click record at cursor. I can go in there and add the other to-do that I forgot to add into my test. And I'm going to add the shopping and I'll check that off. And you can see in the middle of that test, it's now added that extra to-do that I'd forgotten to put in. So I can easily add to an already generated recorded test or already created test that you manually wrote. And I can just at any point add in another part of the test just by create, uh, clicking on the record at cursor button. So super easy to get those tests written. Now, don't forget again, you need to add your assertions in there and write your expect this to be visible, expect, et cetera, but a really, really cool and easy way of getting started. So what if you wanted to just pick a locator, right? Maybe you've written your test and you wanna just find a locator on the uh, browser and kind of add that to your test. So let's take a look at that. So in my test file on, on line 80, and I want to you know, write some more tests. I don't want to generate. I want to just pick my own locator. And I can do this by um, going to the testing sidebar. And I'll click on the testing toolbar here. And I'm going to click on Pick Locator. Now, once I click this, I go over to my browser. And I can just hover over. You can see it's highlighting it. And once I click on one of those, um, it's going to then save it over into the Pick Locator box in VS Code. So you can see hovering, it's showing me, it's using filtering, all those locators of those elements on the page. I can easily see which one. Let's take this one, clear completed. I click on it and over in VS Code in the pick locator box, I have my locator. Now I can accept to copy locator into the clipboard and by pressing enter, and then I can start writing my test myself. I'm gonna write my, my assertion here. I'm gonna expect the page, I'll just paste that locator in. And then basically I can you know, uh, assert that, expect it to be visible and write the rest of my test. And I now know that that locator is an accessible first locator. Uh, there's only one on the page, it's gonna be reliable, it's not gonna be flaky. Um, so really, really nice way of finding those locators and making sure you're getting the best locators possible. So again, click the pick locator button, hover over your page, find the locator you want, click on it. It goes into that pick locator box and then you can easily add that into your code at any point. So what about running tests on different browsers? Now we talked about how you can run Playwright on other browsers. So how can we do this in VS Code? So over here in our testing sidebar, there's a couple of little menus there at the very top. We're gonna to click on those and we're gonna select the default profile. Now in VS Code by default, Chromium or the first test in your project is being used. So in my projects, my projects are Chromium, uh, WebKit and uh, Firefox. So Chromium is the first one by default, but what if I wanted to run my tests on all browsers? So up here, I can just click on this little arrow and I'm gonna select the default profile and I'm gonna check Firefox and WebKit and then I'm gonna press okay. And now when I run my test, as you can see, I'm gonna run this test and it's gonna open up and run the test on all those browsers. There we go, there's our first browser, here's Firefox, and our last one here is WebKit. And you can see now, I've visually seen that all my tests are running across all my browsers. And I could go back then, change it back to just Chromium, or maybe I'm just fixing bugs with WebKit and I could just run those tests in WebKit or whichever one I choose. So basically, this is Playwright in VS Code. Start playing your test right in VS Code. It's as easy as going to the extensions, looking for that Playwright test for VS Code extension, install that, and just play around with the demo example code, with the demo to-do app, and then start generating your test. It's gonna take a matter of seconds to have your tests up and running, and you can easily get going. And that's it, happy testing.